hi everyone so welcome to today's tutorial if you have not yet subscribed to my channel kindly do so there's a button just down the screen there which says subscribe uh, click on that button so that you don't miss out the videos that I'm going to be posting so um the question question 9 is similar to I think question 7 question 9 and question 7 they are just the same you can see here saying the polynomial that is divided by x minus 1 but gives the remainder 10 and when divided by uh, x plus 1 yeah the question is saying the polynomial this is divided by x minus 1 is divisible sorry it's divisible by x minus 1 but gives a remainder when divided a remainder 10 when divided uh, by x plus 1 so in other words when you divide it by x minus 1 when you divide it by x minus 1 in other words they are trying to say when you divide it by x minus 1 meaning x is just going to be equal to uh, positive 1 when you equate this to 0 you equate this to 0 then makes the x the subject of the formula you are going to have the value of x to be uh, 1 so when you put 1 in this expression you are going to have 3 and then where this x put 1 you are going to have 3 plus 2 minus p plus uh, q minus p plus q uh, plus q is equal to they are saying it's divisible by this meaning it's giving us the remainder zero so you just make uh, this the subject of the formula so meaning you are having q plus q minus p q minus p to be equal to uh, this is five so when it crosses the equal sign, so it's going to be negative 5. So you can make it positive like that to be equal to 5. So this is our first equation. This is equation 1. So let's quickly uh, find equation 2. Equation 2 is found by dividing it by this. And then we equate it to 10 since the, we've been told to say the remainder is going to be 10. So uh, what we're going to do is um, we say x uh we say x plus one is equal to zero so meaning our value of x is equal to negative one so you put a uh, negative one in this expression so meaning you have negative three uh plus uh two and then you have plus p and then you have plus q being equal to 10. so you add this you get negative one when it crosses the equal sign you just have p plus q uh, being equal to so this negative one it goes to that to that other side you have 11 so meaning you can make uh, p the subject maybe from this uh, first equation you can use any equation but i i like using the first equation so 5 uh, plus q is equal to p so meaning while this p we put 5 plus q uh, and then we say plus q is equal to 11 so I'm just solving these two equations simultaneously so I'm taking this 5 to the other side of the equal sign this side I'm remaining with 2q uh, being equal to 11 minus 5 uh, I'm going to get 6 meaning the value of q when I divide both sides by 2 is 3 so let's quickly move on to the uh, to finding p how do you find p P we've been told to say is just equal to 5 plus Q. So 5 plus uh, 3. Q we've been told, we found to say it's 3. So 5 plus 3 is giving us uh, P. So our value of P would just be nothing but equal to 8. So meaning P, I mean, yeah, P is equal to 8. And then Q is equal to 3. So these are the solutions uh, that were needed these are the solutions that we need so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial see you in the next tutorial video which is uh question 10 in the same tutorial sheet 4 shalom shalom